My people, my people, my people, what is going on? It's the wealthy guy here. Welcome to my channel. I'm a men's style expert, custom clothier. That means I make suits and publish photographer. On this channel, I talk about men's style, men's grooming, as well as my journey as an entrepreneur. So today's topic is five tips that'll keep your white dress shirt looking white. These are five tips that you don't want to miss. So you ready? Let's go. Okay, so you don't want to be that guy with the white dress shirt that doesn't fit around the collar, that doesn't fit around the waist, that's dirty around the collar as well as around like the sleeves of the arm. You just don't want to be that guy. So today I'm going to share with you five tips that will help to keep your white dress shirt looking white. Okay, y'all ready for the first tip? First tip is putting darts in the back of your dress shirt. Now, this may be a new term for a lot of you. Now, darts are two seams sewn in the back of your shirt. Now, what darts help to do is to take out some of that fabric in the back of your shirt so that the shirt will fit better in the back, right? So you ever see guys that, and this might be you too, you ever see guys that have like their dress shirts on and it's like coming all up out of the, their pants and it's just like all of this extra fabric in the back? Darts will help to fix that. So what you can do to get darts put in your shirt is go to your local dry cleaner or go to a tailor and tell them that you wanna put two darts in the back of your shirt. Putting darts in your shirt will give you a more tailored fit. It is a more modern look for the dress shirt. And like me, I am a really slim guy. So anytime that I buy a dress shirt, you know, from a store, it never fits me right around the waist. There's always that extra fabric. So when I need to, I will go and take it to the tailor um, or the dry cleaner that has a tailor and have them put darts in the back of the shirt. Good tip, right? Now, tip number two. Tip number two is collar stays so you always want to make sure that your white dress shirt has collar stays now usually when you buy a white dress shirt out of a store the it comes with these plastic collar stays that if you put it you know put the white dress shirt in laundry next thing you know the the collar stays are all bent up or you lose them in the in the washer or something like that and the next thing you know your collar is not standing up nice and stiff now the way around that is by getting metal collar stays metal collar stays one they will last you forever two they are metal, so they will help to make sure that your shirt is standing up straight at all times. Three, they are much more difficult to lose, right? So even if they do come off, come off in the washing machine, you'll hear them. You'll hear them cling, 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 cling around in there. So you know to make sure to check the washer when you pull the clothes out to make sure that you don't lose the collar stays. But collar stays are a great way to keep your shirt standing up. Um, and, and metal collar stays are a great way to not have to lose collar stays and not have them like get bent up and look crazy. Who wants that? Tip number three, this is a really good one. So pay attention. Always wear a heather gray undershirt underneath your white dress shirt. Why? Because when you put a heather gray undershirt underneath a white dress shirt, it becomes invisible. Now, the worst thing about wearing white dress shirts is seeing guys wear a white undershirt underneath the dress shirt. You will see the white undershirt right through the dress shirt, but with the heather gray uh, undershirt, you won't. So always make sure that you buy a form-fitting, right now I'm gonna throw that piece in, form-fitting, Heather Gray undershirt and put it underneath your white dress shirt. 
Tip number four. This is a good one for you, right? A lot of guys spend a lot of money at the dry cleaners, especially dry cleaning white dress shirts. This is a mistake. You don't want to dry clean your white dress shirts all the time. Now, if it gets a really bad stain, something you can't get out, of course, dry clean it. But other than that, you should be laundering your white dress shirts. With dry cleaning, the dry cleaning chemicals really like erodes the fabric of your white dress shirts and they don't last as long. But when you launder your white dress shirts, it allows the white dress shirts to last a very long time. Another tip, I don't put my white dress shirts in the dryer. I hang dry them. This is, a, this is something that I learned when I was living in China and in Hong Kong everybody launders their clothes. So you just see clothes hanging on, you know, lines everywhere all around China. This is actually something that is really good for taking care of your clothes and for taking care of your white dress shirt. Tip number five, this is a really good one. So pay attention. So you may be saying, wealthy guy, I don't know about tip number four. I don't know about laundering my shirts. I got ring around the collar. I got yellow pit stains. I got ring around the cuff. I, I can't get that out with laundering a shirt. Yes, you can. So tip number five, you can use OxyClean to get rid of ring around the collar, pit stains, as well as ring around the cuffs. Now, if you don't, don't, so when you wash your shirts, what you can do is put like two cupfuls of OxyClean in there. Now, if that doesn't get out the stains, the ring around the collar, the pit stains out of the shirt, the other thing that you can do is take some of the OxyClean, mix it with water and turn it into a paste. And then you can kind of like spread it on the different stains, the ring around the collar, the yellow pit stains, leave it on, let it soak for like a good one hour or so, and then wash the shirt. I've been doing this trick for years and it works. And you get to keep your white dress shirts longer. So let's recap the tips. So tip one, Get darts put in your shirt. Getting darts put in the back of your shirt will give your shirt a slimmer fit. It will eliminate all of that extra fabric in the back of your shirt. Tip number two, make sure that you get some metal collar stays. Metal collar stays will last way longer than the plastic collar stays that come with the shirt, as well as they are much more difficult to lose. Tip number three, make sure that you always wear a heather gray undershirt underneath your white dress shirt. Now, if you have the top button unbuttoned like I do, you wanna make sure that it is a V-neck heather gray undershirt underneath the shirt. Tip number four, launder the shirt, launder the shirt, launder the shirt. Do not dry clean your shirt that often. Only dry clean when you absolutely have to. Otherwise, launder the shirt, hang dry it. Will it be kind of stiff after that process? Absolutely, but you can iron it, right? Iron it, get those wrinkles out, it'll be as good as new. And tip number five, make sure that you use OxyClean, right? OxyClean when you are washing your white dress shirt. This will help to remove that ring around the collar um, as well as those yellow pit stains. You don't want to put your white dress shirts in the dryer. The dryer will make all of those stains get ingrained in your shirt. So make sure that you are not drying your shirts. So if you thought that these were some good tips, things you didn't know, make sure that you drop me a comment and make sure that you like this video as well as click subscribe and click the bell so that you make sure that you get notified when I make a new video. It's The Wealthy Guy and I'll see you soon.